It's pretty clear that some television evangelists are not what they appear to be. Consider the cases of Jim Baker and Jimmy Swaggart. So I guess we really shouldn't be too surprised by Sister Paula, television's newest and some would say most colorful evangelist. She too isn't sure who she is. Televangelists like Jim Baker and Jimmy Swaggart have shocked America. I have sinned against you, my Lord. But old-time religion ain't seen nothing yet. This is Paula Nielsen. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Meet Sister Paula, America's only drag evangelist. Yes, this sister is a mister. People of all orientations and walks in life are listening to me. They're, even if they don't like it, they're listening. <laughs> Jesus knew the secret of open-handed living. Jesus had friends and a family, and he loved life. Jesus knew the secret. Since it began on cable access TV in late 1987, the Sister Paula show has attracted a cult following. Its star is a 51-year-old cabaret entertainer who is biologically a man, but considers himself a woman. When I was a freshman in high school, the publicity, the first publicized sex change, Christine Jorgensen, was the headline story. And when I read Christine's story, it was like I was reading about myself. My parents had three children, one of each. <laughs> Eventually, Paula became a nightclub entertainer and developed a somewhat raunchy comedy act. Somebody said to me the other day, how does an old broad like you get all those young guys? What's the secret? <laughs> Cash. <laughs> the act put food on Paula's table, but didn't feed her soul. Something was missing. Something Paula had felt as a youngster when, as Larry, he was baptized in a Portland church. I just knew that, you know, Christ had come into my heart, and it was there that I received the call to do the work of an evangelist. I knew that my calling was to be an evangelist. But it took Paula's 30th high school reunion for her to summon the courage to begin preaching. Performing before shocked classmates who remembered her as Larry, Paula's comedy act was dying, so she began speaking from the heart. If you want to think of God as a great power out there or in a metaphysical viewpoint, it doesn't matter. But there's been something there that has gotten me through. And the power of the Holy Spirit came upon me, and I started preaching. And Paula is still at it. Her TV show is now seen in both Portland and Seattle. But the ministry isn't making Paula rich. Cable access rules prohibit her from asking for donations. If I was doing this for the money, I'd be doing something else. Jim and Tammy may have gotten rich. I haven't. No, Sister Paula measures success by the people she's touched and by letters like this. Thanks for your program, Paula, and for the inspiration you give to all of us who have suffered from the curse of being different. A word that puts God's life and God's love within our reach. If only one person can say that my ministry has reached out and touched them and given them the realization of acceptance by God, it's worth all of the hard work. Come along and follow me to the bottom of the sea. So Paula Nielsen plans to keep preaching. And to the people who find it offensive to hear the gospel delivered by a drag queen with an off-color act, Paula says that's their problem. Sex is a part of life. It's a part of uh, being human, a part of human nature. And there's nothing wrong with laughing about sex. And if every minister, in, every minister, every Protestant minister, every Roman Catholic priest, every religious leader in the world stood and said, you have no right to preach the gospel, it wouldn't shake my faith or question my call one iota. We'll see you again next week. God bless you. Sister Paula is planning to tell all her life story in an upcoming, you guessed it, autobiography. Her ultimate dream, to take her ministry nationwide.